Welcome to episode 15 of Better Than I Can Imagine, a documentary experiment where we are <laughs> creating a better life that's better than we can imagine. There you go. Through our daily practices and our positivity and our spiritual foundation. And law of attraction and, and all that good stuff. Sagittarian. Yes, so. I am Tish. I am the host of, I almost said Saturday Night Live, <laughs> <laughs> of the Slightly Unmeditated Podcast, and you are? I love this. I'm Regis Cowan of the Spiritual Shit You Need to Know Podcast, and we are manifesting lives that are better than we can imagine. True that. <laughs> so... We have just had a an hour long discussion <laughs> behind the scenes, so we may be a little uh, punch drunk at this point. But <laughs> that's a good word for it. Yeah. So a lot of the th my thought pattern has been kind of focused around why the hell would I choose this? <laughs> why would I come back to Earth with this contract <laughs> on my head? Literally, this contract on my head. <laughs> so, the spiritual belief is that we are spiritual beings having a human experience. And we purposely chose to come here and go through all this to gather intel on our, through our emotions about whatever. And most days it makes sense to me. I get it. It actually has given purpose to life. It makes a lot of things more clear. It makes death a lot more clear. It makes yep. living a lot more clear. So I'm glad I have the knowledge. However, sometimes WTF like, doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Like, what was I thinking? <laughs> Why did you know? I sign? Did I really sign up for this earth school? Right. Yeah. So I've been reading to a lot about old souls and that makes a lot of sense when you're using this sort of foundation of purposely coming here yeah and i think a lot of old souls know they're old souls and i think a lot of regular people also <laughs> recognize old souls because oh, you know yeah. there's those little kids that just have this like profound wisdom and the first thing they say is he's such an old soul yep it's an endearing quality. Sometimes. <laughs> I'm not so sure I feel charmed and endeared this week by the happenings or the non-happenings. And yourself. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because I think I said last week, I remember being in the car and driving and I might have been on, I think I was on the phone with somebody. And this is somebody who's like, he's not into like the spirituality and stuff, but I didn't care. I was going to talk to him like he knew what I was talking about. Mm -hmm. And we got, I don't know how we got on the subject. And I said something of the same thing of like, look, I know I'm an old soul and I'm here and this is what I signed up for. I said, but I promise you, I am done after this. I'm not coming back to earth school this is my last round, y'all. So I'm done. And I'm sure he was like, what? I'm done. I'm not coming back to earth school. This is it. I, my soul can't take it anymore. Because <laughs> y'all are nuts. Do you think we get to choose that? Uh, So I'm going to go a little deeper into soul contracts and stuff like that. But based off of my knowledge, my experience, and other spiritual teachers, mentors, blah, 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 that I've talked to, um, they all say the same thing, and it's that, yes, you can choose it, right? But this is the thing. When you're in this pure, energetic, blissful place, they said, y'all always say that. I've heard, like, people who channel other, you know, angels and things say, all of y'all say that. You say, I'm not coming back to this place. But they said, but then when you get here on the other side and you review your life and you see how you could have done things differently, you go, I want to try again. And I'm like, why? What is wrong with me? <laughs> so Sincerely. you will, you will get to a point eventually where, especially if you've done things or have had several lives, you've had different experiences. At some point you will outgrow this dimension, this plane, earth school. You may decide to go to another planet, 
another galaxy at some point, but you're never going to stop, so to speak, because your soul is always expanding. So it may not be here, it may be somewhere else. Maybe this just is not in your vibration anymore because you've experienced everything you could possibly experience. So now you're going to go to another galaxy or another you know, dimension or something. And then I've also heard that our spirit guides, so there's like your angels, there's your spirit guides. Most of our spirit guides and mentors have lived a human life. In order for them to be our spiritual guides and mentors, they have to have experienced this. They can't help me if they haven't been through it too. So a lot of us, after we're done coming to earth school, decide to be mentors. Well, now I'm going to be somebody's spirit guide and help them because I know what the shit show is like. I've been there, done that. So we continue some kind of way to mm. keep to keep moving forward. Sounds very familiar, like your favorite movie. Yeah. So. Yeah. So yeah. That's it. And Astral City too. That's why. Oh so yes, you're right up there with both of those movies. I love I, it. I was just having um, like like a jaw problem, so I looked at my Louise Hay book. Uh huh. For jaw. I know. You can heal your life. Well, I'm a little disrupt disrupted by the. The diagnosis. answer? Mm-hmm. Yes. The spiritual diagnosis. <laughs> it's a tool. We use it. Anger. Mm-hmm. Resentment. Mm-hmm. Desire for revenge. Mm-hmm. What if that doesn't necessarily ring true? Maybe, maybe some resentment, but I don't feel like angry or anything. Maybe on a soul level you are. Maybe not physically or mentally you are. Yeah. It could be some energy that you need to clear out that you don't realize you have. Yeah, I can't believe I have any energy left after all. See? But those things do. (laughs) We were talking about Reiki healing and stuff, and I had a Reiki healing session, and sometimes those things get bottled up and you don't realize it. I know I definitely experienced that when I started doing EFT tapping. I'm Mm -hmm. like... I'm good. I've processed emotions, lost, hurt, whatever, whatever. And then we get to tapping and shit and I go, why am I crying? I'm bawling tears. I have, I moved on. She's like, just because you have mentally let it go, your body energetically has not let it go. It's trapped there, you know? Yeah. So you may have, it may be trapped there. So, you know, like in yoga, they always say, especially when you're doing like hip openers, don't, don't be surprised if you start start crying. crying Yeah. I'm sitting there like, shit. But I mean, nothing happened. I felt yeah. fine. But <laughs> maybe because it hurts, that's why I'm crying. <laughs> yeah, that's true too. But I was actually a little trepidatious about it. Like, oh my god, something gonna just, be released? There's like three of us in here. Like, it's gonna be obvious. You know? <laughs> but I really, I felt okay. Good. Uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna have some energy work done soon, which was actually a suggestion by someone else. Yeah. Without even knowing my situation, so I think that was a bit of an angel in disguise kind of yeah. work for me. Mm-hmm. Um, I did not. I didn't pull cards. I should show you. I didn't pull cards for my sectors, but I actually had some questions the other day about being on the right path. Like it was the resounding question in my mind and I couldn't let it go so I just asked a direct question yeah like is this it and like a shit ton of cards fell out yeah this is too much y'all well you're gonna laugh so that was the first one Mm -hmm. this is the second one wait what does that one say patience Patience. oh that's story of my life story of my life okay Okay. That was <laughs> You're like, God damn it, I'm doing it. <laughs> God damn it, I'm doing it. I'm doing right? that. <laughs> yeah. So that was the four that just fell out all at once. Like, they just... So, then I was like, is that a yes or no? <laughs> <laughs> they don't give it to us the way we want it. Yeah, Patience. The answers are coming. Patience. Yeah. My spirit card team, my spirit team cards was, you uh, you know, you're never alone. Mm-hmm. I know that. I have to tell myself that a lot sometimes. Oh, yeah. Every five minutes. Like, you know, I'm like, I know I'm not alone, but, and I think, too, is 
I've had to learn how to ask for what I want sometimes differently than what I used to ask. I'm like, maybe I'm not asking this in the right way. So you do have to experiment kind of with that to figure that out, but also continuing your spiritual learning, spiritual journey, being open to like, like you said, there's some energy healing. You've never done that before. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but this is. I've I was, had Reiki before. It okay. just wasn't in an ideal setting. I was like at a expo kind of thing. Oh yeah. I was fascinated by how hot her hands were at certain things. She, I didn't get a good diagnosis at the time. Okay. This was very early on in podcasting as well. So I still didn't know what was happening. Yeah. I didn't know near what I know now. So I have I have some new opportunities that are unfolding, but it sort of also triggers some other issues. Like yeah scarcity issues that I sometimes, you know, I'm always trying to get the right mindset around it. I believe I have the right mindset, but there's also like a reality. Like if you don't put gas in your car, it doesn't go anywhere. Right. (laughs) So like that kind of situations, like a lot of conundrums. Right. Is what's frustrating. Uh, I met a medium. She's like, you're so wide open. I'm like, that's where I thought I was supposed to be. No attachment, open to whatever, open to the creative forces yeah. of the universe. And then you just said that I could try to ask specifically like in this way or whatever. And I'm like, but that's the thing. Am I supposed to ask specifically <laughs> or stay wide open? I, yeah, there's we a, could do a whole show we on could. conundrums. Okay. We should. Yeah. There's a, there's a balance. Absolutely. I think, I try to keep it simple. It's like when you feel the resistance, then you need to let it go. If you feel like there's going to be resistance there, then whatever it is, move away from it. Come back to it later. Ask, is there another way or is this the way? Until it feels good, you have to do that. And so the thing with that or being on the spiritual journey or being you know, in spirituality is we're always experimenting. Like we have to. I think that's the thing. We're never going to, you never get it done and you never, (laughs) right? Abraham Hicks said it. Yeah. So I have to remember that you never get it done, but you can't get it wrong. So we're always going to be experimenting and and figuring out. And nothing that's for you will miss you. Yes. Yeah. We have to just reaffirm that sometimes it doesn't feel real. That doesn't feel right. How can that be right in this world that I live in with all this stuff going on? How can that be right? Right. So you have to do some mental work to convince yourself of that, but definitely doing that. (laughs) Yes. And I saw it last night too. Uh, I did. I did too. I actually went out to the porch because it was so bright. I have like little skylights in my, uh, can you still hear me? Yes. Oh, you went out, so I don't know what this is going to happen in the recording. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it's, it shows that I'm still recording, so maybe they'll piece it together. Can you it see just, me? Yeah, it just says, recording continues smoothly, live video will return when your internet improves. So oh, I don't you know, know what? If, I think it's if, about to storm here soon, too, maybe. Well, I was just talking about the full moon as well, so... Yep. <laughs> Anyway, I have skylights in my porch, and so, like, my back porch was all lit up, and I didn't even know it was actually coming into a full moon. So I should have known just yeah. because everything seems incredibly... On uh, itch? Weird, yeah. Intense. Yeah. And that, I think that's part of your answer, too. Because I just told my friend that. I said, look, don't lose your shit. It's a full moon. <laughs> I have to tell... I have to remind myself, too... I. I don't know. There's certain, you know, different full moons affect me differently. This one so far, I feel like I have been like calm and peaceful, which is weird. Yeah. Even last week, well, I like had a great week and I'm like, what is going on here? But there have been some full moons where I lose my shit. And then finally I look and I'm like, oh yeah, it's a full moon. We just, just, yes. <laughs> it's so going to pass. Two full moons ago, things went weird but they've never come back yeah 
And so I never thought I'd be a person like monitoring the full moon. <laughs> I'm telling you, are. I have a full moon app on my yeah. phone. Yeah. For that. I mean, on some hand, it's like, thank goodness, at least there's some reason for this or whatever. I also had some really great experiences on a full moon. Yeah. Like, went out to the manifestation thing kind of outside and like miracles freaking happen. Ooh. So I keep trying to do that every full moon and it keeps backfiring <laughs> for like the last two. So this is my third. We'll see how it goes. And I, again, so I'm not big into like astrology and, and charts because it just looks like a bunch of math and geometry. And I'm like, I don't what sign is in this in third degree, 10th degree. I don't know. You know, I don't understand all of it, but I do encourage people to talk to someone who can read birth charts for that reason. And I, I had a lady who I talked to who read mine for me. We did a live zoom and a lot of things started to make sense. Now I didn't know all the technical stuff, but she kind of broke it down for me. This is why you do this, this, this. This is why you're affected by this moon. When the moon's in Libra, it's going to affect you like this because of your chart, the little things that we can't see in detail. So obviously, me and you are both Sagittarius, but my moon is probably in something else that yours is in. My Well, obviously, my moon is in Aquarius. Your My Venus is in Capricorn. Like Everybody's going to be a little bit different. Nobody's going to be exactly the same. Uh-huh. So those full moons that may affect you one way are going to affect me a different way because of that. So those are good things. That's just the basics of it. Yeah. I have my moon and stuff. I don't know where it is though. Yeah. But she, you know, she went into detail to a lot of things. Um, even down to like where you shine. And I keep this in the, in my mind. Sometimes she said, and it was based off my chart. She was like, this so-and-so is in your chart. You're supposed to be doing something in, like, beauty. She said something about showing your beauty. And I'm like, what? What does that mean? Like, she was like, so you're into essential oils. You need to be more visual. Like, there's visual beauty. You're supposed to be in it. She said the world of women and the world of beauty. You need to be doing something in that, right? But then she also went into podcasting and me speaking and talking and communication so she was like these are the areas that are going to work for you that you thrive naturally in all from reading this damn chart so i've kept those things in mind i don't know what chiron was in and mercury and all that but i just heard you know what i needed to hear yeah so every now and then if i have a question i have my chart perpetually opened on my phone yeah. in case something happens in an emergency i have to <laughs> Go right to my chart. <laughs> or because I learned something, they'll say, like, your house placement or the something yeah. or another is what you should do for a living or something. So, And I just pay attention to it. Well, fun fact is one of the pieces of information that I was sort of led to, to look up. Because, I mean, the birth chart reads pretty much in English, but yeah. then also not really. So yeah. you're like, what the fuck what does that mean? How are you saying that? <laughs> So at first pass, I didn't catch on. Yeah. But I realized that literally the only kind of uh, information that's coming into me, which is the most frustrating thing ever, because I'm only getting like one newscast and that's it. I get nothing else. I need some other channels. Although I have a a bit of a funny story about that. So um, what a coincidence. I go through my birth chart and I find, because I... Because I saw, like, your house of the something or whatever is what you should do or mm-hmm. how it's going to work. I don't remember what the yeah. question was. And I go in, and I almost died because it was the first sentence is exactly what this, like, my intel is giving me for, yeah. three like, three or four years now. But it's, like, the only information I get. The other, day, the other day, something happened. I don't remember what it was. But I was talking with some people, and I was just, like a mile I mean I was tired when I left because I get <laughs> I excited was tired. yeah I get like, I know it's so excited with like having conversations and, yeah like, resonation and synchronicity it's and energetic that. work it takes it out of you so I'm driving home and I sit you would have been so proud of me I say as loud as as soon as it comes to me it just comes right out of my mouth I'm like and this is why they don't tell you anything <laughs> because you can't shut up <laughs> And you're going to drain yourself and not have anything left. And you've still got other things you got to do. And da, 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 da. 
it's my nature though like if something excites me or i get like me too you know and then you know everybody's like you're supposed to be who you are be yourself don't don't shut yourself down for anybody else and then as soon as you follow that guidance it's like that you know you know we are we're doing a show on conundrums i have to like i need the minute to sit down and think of a couple in head because okay. they come to me all the time i yeah. just don't ever write, them, write down. them down as yes yeah, so i actually have a list but I get very frustrated by those kinds of things. Yeah. I also get frustrated by the fact that there literally is a spiritual solution to every problem. Every problem. Wayne I just Dyer. don't know what it is right now. Wayne Dyer wrote that book. I haven't read it yet, but I often think that, like, when I'm, like, mulling over something in my mind, then I'm like, well, you know, it's not how it works. I'm like, God damn it, I can't complain <laughs> I wish it worked anything. like that. Yeah. I can't even complain about anything anymore because... There's always that something in the back of my mind, like it's a redirection or it's this or whatever. Yeah, that's that yeah. intuition coming through. And I'm like, why do I have to be so fucking enlightened? <laughs> Isn't it a curse though? Like, <laughs> it's everything I think is a gift and the curse. There's going to be, I think I just told somebody this. I said, contrast is the world we live in. So. Whether you think it's good or bad, for every action, there's a reaction. For everything, there's an equal opposite. That's just the way this universe works. So I have to remember that, even though sometimes it's challenging or some things I don't want to deal with. Like, you have to know that, Regis. You know there's going to be the good and the bad or the whatever, the yin and the yang. It's just, this is life. This is a part of it. I feel like it gets more and more challenging because you kind of know what the sort of the goal here is, mm -hmm. right? Everybody's unconditional love and being able to drop your insecurities and so all of those things that really seem super simple right, <laughs> would make such a drastic difference that it is so challenging for me to just be around like a normal complainer. regular people yeah like for example like a constant complainer or yeah. somebody who's like super insecure and stuff it it is like it eats away at you doesn't it yeah, yeah. like it's, it's an energetic yeah even though i was like drain I, even though i always understood like i'm empathic and i understand obviously more about how that works but now it's just like a whole other level yeah that I didn't learn that until, well, like later on that, oh, you're a highly sensitive person. You're empathic. You can pick up on people's energy, but you also give out energy. Like if you come into the room and your energy is like, it literally reflects onto so many other people. But the other thing is if you walk into a room and there's been an argument or people aren't getting along or something like it literally sucks the life out of you. I told you today I went into a store and the two guys were like, I don't know, I felt something weird, right? And yeah. then I, but now that you're saying about my energy, I'm like, what the hell did I bring into the store? <laughs> like, right. They were kind of like, what, you know. And that too, have you cleansed your energy? Have you protected your own energy? You know, I have, um, I was telling you that I have like a meditation protection prayer that I say, I'm supposed to say it every day, every now and then I might forget, but before I go out into the world, I try to remind myself to do this. And most of the time when I do it, I have a totally different experience. Because yeah. now somebody's bad energy has gotten into my fucking force field or the force field I forgot to put up. It's all up in my aura now and I feel like shit. And I'm like, now I got to cleanse and try to protect. So this is all the stuff in the beginning that I wanted. I, don't, I hate to say, this, say it this way. I wanted to avoid, right? Because yeah. I was always afraid I was doing it wrong. I have now come to this natural progression to this space where I have to learn more about protecting this stuff, right? It's, yeah. It's become apparent that I need to kind of do this. And I don't know, it's such a weird journey. <laughs> that reminds me because I, I feel like I've been getting that message of like, you're becoming the master, but the master has to continue to learn. The more you get on this journey, the more you're going to have to learn. The more you're going to have to do. It's just like people say more money, more problems. Okay. I don't necessarily believe that, but I know what they're saying. is like you're going to have more responsibility 
you know? So as a person who's ascending and having these awakening moments and stuff, there's more that you're going to have to do. Like you're opening yourself up to a whole new world. You've got to learn these new rules. You've got to learn how to navigate it. The master has to continue, you know, to learn. So like you said, the stuff that you used to try to avoid, it's like, it's inevitable, boo. You're going to have to, if you're, if you're going to be enlightened, you're going to have to do it at some point. It's interesting that I was wise enough, even without knowing. Knowing, but your soul knew. Right. It's just in you. You just know. You have this inner knowing. I don't know all the details. Why do I even feel this way? But it's there. It's literally been my life story. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't know why I know, but I know. How do I know this? I don't know. I just do. What do I, what do, I do with this? Yeah. Yeah. So I think I'm still waiting for like that one kind of validation of like. Yeah. This like put a label. I know like that's just my ego needing something to hold on to but i we were talking before about just feeling super untethered like that is yeah. the best word ever i'm all kind of like here. that <laughs> that helium balloon that that won't quit but is not necessarily at full capacity yeah yeah <laughs> it's untethered yeah wow it can be um draining but I think that's part of the experience is that you're expanding and you are opening your energies to a lot more stuff. So I know I've been told this too. The more you open your energies, the more you're going to have to protect it. You're going to have to make those boundaries because you're going to feel spacey out here, untethered or feeling like the hell is going on here. You know, why did I sign up for this? Did I really sign up for this? Did I sign a contract for this? I want to come here and do this. Yeah. Was I drinking? Did someone check before I signed? <laughs> Somebody did tricked I sign, me. I signed, I signed the wrong contract. <laughs> I signed the wrong contract. That's how I feel. Y'all tricked me. You tricked me. You tricked me. You didn't tell me all the, the yeah, things. Yeah, it's weird too because like a whole half of my life, things were like super happy-go-lucky and la la la. T- ignorance is such That's bliss, a bliss, right? <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, no, you planned it out that way. You set it up that way. You chose your parents. You chose yeah. your friends, your soul Sucker family. Myself. Sucker myself in, make it look good yeah. for the first 20 years. And I used to be like, I don't understand that. And so after reading, I think it was Sylvia Brown's book, after reading and learning about that, she was like, yeah, you chose all this stuff. This is why it takes, you know, she's like, you don't normally have, like when you have a lifetime after a lifetime, she said, it normally takes you years, human years wise, to figure out when you're going to come back because she's like, it takes that long to plan out an entire contract, an entire life, your spirit guides. She's like, all these little details are put into place before you decide to come back down here. Mm -hmm. So you may have been here in the 1800s. You may not come back until 1925 or 2000, you know, she's like, it takes that long for you to review your life and go through all that. But, when you get to that blissful place and you review your life, you think, huh, I can do that better next time. Now I know right. what I know. And she's like, not remembering that you're going to have, you know, the great amnesia. It sounds good when you know everything, but don't forget, we're going to like wipe the slate clean before you go down here. And you're like, yeah. I, I played this game so many times. I got it. Okay, now last time I was rude, I was a bitch to her. I'm not going to do that next time. I'm going to pass that spiritual lesson. And then you get down here, and you've got the amnesia, and then you've got society and people, and you start being formed and stuff. But we always have this inner soul knowing, right? We just don't know the whole picture. Right. So it's one of those things where we just have to know. But that does make it easier knowing that, okay, I did sign up for this. Even though I, I don't feel know. like I did. I must have known what I was doing. I must have known point. something. Like, what did I want to experience here? How did I want my soul to expand and grow? Like, did I? I wanted to do this. I wanted to sign up for hurt and pain and fear. Did I sign up for that? Yeah. <laughs> I don't Anxiety, get it. Anxiety, confusion. <sighs> Health issues, whatever it may be. You know, All at one time. Gonna, there's always going to be something. Yeah, you never get it done time. and you can't get it wrong. Okay, great. <laughs> That's good to know, but at the same time. Thanks, Confucius. Like, you're screwed, but you're screwed. <laughs> That's how I feel. 
Yeah, and and truth be told, like sometimes those cool synchronicities and things really make you feel good because yeah. like it's a, but I haven't even been getting kind of those. I will say every time I looked at the clock today, I can't remember yesterday, but uh, every single time it was like twelve twelve over ten ten or four four. Yeah. So I I get that I, a lot now. I I have I almost felt like it was um, sympathy numbers. Yeah. Like, like I actually, it's okay. yeah, like we're going to try and get your attention, but like I was belligerent about it. Like yeah. I'm ignoring you. I am not, I'm not looking at your funny meme. We're trying to anything. give you a little confirmation. We're trying to, yeah. and I think sometimes we do that. We block ourselves. We block our spirit guides and say, Lori held them. They're probably like, girl, we've been trying to reach you all day. Will you, just, will you finally <laughs> listen? <laughs> Your car's extended warranty. Yeah. We've, <laughs> We've been, been trying to reach you. you. We've been calling you. Would you just wake up and listen and follow and stop thinking that it's supposed to be this way? We're telling you it's this way, you know? Yeah. Whatever. I, I guess I'm feeling belligerent about it. They're like, ah, she's stuck in her own head today. We'll come back tomorrow. <laughs> well, that truth be told, like, even today was rough and... Uh, I'm still like walking the kitchen 12 12 or you know a lot of times too I pick up my phone and it's my birthday oh yeah I get that one a lot too yeah so like I'll, I'll begrudgingly say okay all right okay I go what is that what are you okay thanks for telling me that's how I am all right thanks what's okay. next <laughs> they're like you know what yeah well hopefully tomorrow will be better than I can imagine because Today so. and yesterday were not so, not so groovy, actually. Have we talked about the dark night of the soul? I know I mention it sometimes, but. <sighs> Which one? <laughs> I don't, you know, I think that's the other thing is I want people to know that like manifesting or going through an awakening, it's not just like the good stuff. In order to get to the good stuff, we do have to go through the negative stuff. You know? I feel I feel like early on in the game, earlier on in the game, that I got some like amazing experiences as a way to be like it's going to be really bad from here on out. <laughs> so just have this memory to yeah to hold on to. to. And sometimes yeah. I think that's it too. I really truly feel like that. You need that to push through to get to the other side. You need something to hold on to. Sometimes it's the only thing I have to hold on to. Yeah. You know, and that's where I'm still fascinated by some of the things that have happened where I'm bowled over just as if it had just happened. Yeah. A couple, there's a couple things. Like, even before we started recording these, where we're like, I don't remember the chain of events exactly, but like, did you just say what I was talking about? And it was like yeah. a rapid fire synchronicity. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. That's I love exciting. Those. And then when things <laughs> don't go so great, I'll be like, but remember that time? Yeah. yeah. I do that. I go, it's not impossible, Regis. It's possible. Why? Because you've experienced it before. You know it can happen. You know what's out here for you. It's her, absolutely. It's like the eternal validation of, well, shit, I did this. I could do this. Yeah. And I often even come back to my, uh, my archetype and my... Um, human design and all that oh, like yeah. my archetype is a magician so today, look at you <laughs> i take that very seriously i take that yeah. very seriously at heart and a lot of um a lot of the people that line up with that like walt disney are people yeah. that we're always talking about like even magic yeah even like soul and encanto is such a grounding kind of something for me because yeah. It's like, I didn't imagine this, and someone else has put this out here, right? Yeah. So today, I... <laughs> I need it. I was desperate for something. Like, I've done my sage and my, you know, whatever yeah. things I'm supposed to do. So today, I pulled out the wand, and I was like, shaking up my energy. <laughs> I'm the magician. Like, Somebody do something, please. <laughs> need something magical. I was waving it around like a sage stick, like trying to break up whatever <laughs> um, this is. This energy, I'm shaking it up, right? Yeah, because I, I I understand that this is how I learn other things, but my God, like 
I know it can be a lot. So therefore we have to learn to put more things, the, the more open we become, the more we have to protect our energy and create these new boundaries or new ways of doing things. It's a new way of living. I, that has also been a huge theme of the, like the last week where I'll have these really clear moments of like, you're a new you. And so you keep trying to do old yeah. things. However, I'm kind of like, could, could I have like a helper, like an <laughs> assistant? Cause you know, I yeah. can't be Completely. in 27 places at one time. I'm like a single human being. Yeah. Right. I need that gradual shift in. Y'all help me. Yeah. I mean, unless there's like some fairies that I don't see or whatever. Yeah, those (laughs) exist too. I haven't. Well, maybe I have seen some on camera. But I haven't seen them in real life. Like people say, you know, in Ireland, they literally see them. Yeah. I've never seen them, but I also need to go to like, I don't know, I guess that place where all the magic happens. Yeah, I mean, I believe in, I I can understand a lot of things and how they work just knowing a few things, and yeah. I get it. I'm not saying that I believe one way or the other. I'm just open to the possibility that that is possible. Yeah. <sighs> All right. So, yes, you did sign up to come here and experience this. <laughs> so did you. Your contract is stamped. They tricked filed. me. They tricked yeah. me. <laughs> nope, you've been here before. You know what's happening. Yeah. I All agree. right. Well, maybe that's why we know each other so well. I'm sure. Soul family. That's what I mean. Like to even have these conversations. Yeah. It's like we had to come back to go through all this bullshit to meet each other to have these conversations. So other people, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're like you can go down the rabbit hole with that. Here we go. Yeah. Exactly. All right. That's it. Any f- final words of wisdom? Uh, I don't think so. Keep pressing okay. on. Keep we got your back. Yeah, and you're never alone. So even if you feel absolutely off the <laughs> edge of the page because you're like, I have no idea what's going on, neither do we. So we're That's all in the company. We're all in this together. All right. All right. We'll see you next week. Bye.